Okay, good day guys, good day to you all. Welcome back to the Formula Sports channel. Thanks for being here. Guys, this is a big story and we have to talk about it. This is not a recent issue, right? This is an issue that has been bubbling for a while now, but it has been brought back to the forefront in light of recent happenings. Guys, this issue could potentially cost JFF president Mike Ricketts his presidency a good while before the election. Guys, this is a big issue. Boy, Mike Ricketts has gotten himself into some problems. This whole issue stems from an interview that was done a couple of years ago on Sports Grill, where JFF president Mike Ricketts allegedly used a homophobic slur in referring to his then Clarendon FA presidential challenger, Mr. Ainsley Lowe. It's two issues at hand. One, the alleged homophobic slur, and two, the mere fact that Mr. Lowe brought a defamation case against Mr. Ricketts. And because Mr. Ricketts did not contest the defamation case, by default, Mr. Lowe has won. The judgment is forthcoming in December. Now, you guys might be looking at this and saying, well, what's the big deal behind this story? Why is this such a big issue? Why will this cause? Why will this potentially? Honestly, I say potentially because nothing in life is certain, but more than likely this will cost JFF president Mike Ricketts his presidency and cause his presidency to end a lot sooner than he would have hoped. So I'm going to I'm going to explain it to you guys right now why this is such a big deal. Boy, Mike Rick is getting himself in some serious hot water, some serious problems right now. But I'm going to I'm going to read the 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 what you see on your screen right now. Guys, what you see on your screen right now is the FIFA legal handbook. The FIFA legal handbook i'm going to explain to you guys why this is a big issue that could potentially cost my crickets his presidency article 22 discrimination and defamation article 22 1 states persons bound by this code shall not offend the dignity or integrity of a country private person or group of people through contemptuous, discriminatory, or denigratory words or actions on account of race, skin color, ethnicity, nationality, social origin, gender, disability, language, religion, political opinion, or any other op opinion, wealth, birth, or any other status, sexual orientation, or any other reason. So that's one. Article 22, two, persons bound by this code are forbidden from making any public statements of a defamatory nature towards FIFA and or towards any other person bound by this code in the context of FIFA events. I will continue. I will continue. This is the really interesting part now, guys. Article 22.3 states that violation of this article shall be sanctioned with an appropriate fine of at least 10,000 Swiss francs, as well as a ban on taking part in any football-related activity for a maximum of two years. In serious cases and or in the case of repetition, a ban on taking part in any football-related activity may be pronounced for a maximum of five years. Guys, the letter of the law is clear. There is no ambiguity here. The only issue pertains to FIFA's enforcement of their articles in their legal handbook and from what we understand fifa is aware of the issue 
and are monitoring the issue. And is man rather, sorry, and is monitoring the issue. Guys, the issue is that next month in December, a judgment will be taking place before the courts as it pertains to this particular issue. As I said, the defamation case went uncontested and because of that, by default, Mr. Ricketts has lost the defamation case. So basically, the courts is it basically it's, it's, it's basically saying by default that allegedly Mr. Ricketts defamed Mr. Ainsley Lowe and that is a no-no according to the FIFA legal handbook. And also, by this judgment being deemed defamation, it is basically saying that derogatory language in the form of a homophobic slur was used. So it's two issues at hand for Mr. Rick. It's not even one, two possible breaches. Guys, it's a serious, serious issue. As I said, the letter of the law is clear. There is no ambiguity here. The only is, look, I cannot, you know, FIFA has a lot on its plate. But from what we understand, FIFA is aware and closely monitoring the situation. I want to read another article for you guys in the Jamaica Gleaner. Will JFF president resign? St. Anne's Beckford has burning question to pose at AGM. President of the St. Anne Football Association, Danny Beckford, is concerned whether Jamaica Football Federation, JFF, Mike Ricketts, will resign or continue for another year or two. That will be the no-nonsense football administrator's burning question when the JFF hosts its non-voting annual general meeting, AGM today at the Junction Guest House in St. Elizabeth, starting at 11 a.m. Beckford pointed that he is curious to know if Ricketts, who goes before the courts next month to receive judgment, on an uncontested defamation case against law will walk away from football because of possible implications implications from FIFA. The biggest thing I have queried about is will the JFF president stay on or resign? Beckford stated he has breached FIFA discrimination protocols and that is my main concern, Beckford said. Guys, is a not by this. This is a massive thing for, for Mr. Ricketts in a man because one more than likely Mr. Ricketts is going to lose a lot of money. You saw the, the, the FIFA legal handbook said 10,000 Swiss francs and a pittance money that that's the first thing. Second of all, when that judgment comes through, it might be a lot, right? Common sense tells you that it will be a hefty price a hefty sum and then this whole issue could potentially more than likely cost Mike Ricketts his presidency guys I'm going to read another article for you guys I'm going to read another article for you guys and this is on the on Radio Jamaica this is on Radio Jamaica Jamaica Football Federation President Mike Ricketts will know in June of next year how much it will cost him in damages following a default judgment against him in a defamation case. Now, guys, the judgment was supposed to take place in June, right? But it, it, it got postponed until December, which is next month. According to court documents obtained by Radio Jamaica Sports, the JFF boss used derogatory language in reference to his former challenger for the Clarendon FA presidency. After failing to contest the charges laid against him in a defamation case filed before the Supreme Court on May 8, 2017, 
Ricketts could end up paying a huge sum to the claimant Ainsley Lowe, who won a default judgment on September the 8th, 2017. Ricketts is now waiting for the final hearing for a case that has been in court for over three years to come to an end on June 8th, 2021. As I stated, it was postponed. It will be held in December next month. Low challenge Ricketts for the post of president of the Clarendon FA in 2016. Low had claimed the election was run unconstitutionally and should have been declared null and void. Ricketts then made the controversial comment in a radio interview on Hits 92 FM's Sports Grill. Both parties also went to mediation, but the matter was not resolved. Now, guys, what is unclear is how soon after will this take effect? In terms of will Mr. Ricketts have to resign, right? It is clear that more than likely it's looking like FIFA will ban him. If he does not resign, how long after the judgment comes through? How long after will FIFA, you know, apply the necessary punishment? That right now is unclear. So we don't know if Mr. Ricketts will go next month. We don't know if he will go in 2022. But what is clear is that Michael Ricketts is looking like he's in a spot of bother. He's looking he's in a serious spot of bother financially and also as it pertains to his career. It is looking like he will be out much sooner than he himself would have probably anticipated. Right? As I said, no ambiguity. No ambiguity. The letter of the law is clear. Now, guys, I am not sure who is next in line. We'd have to do further research on that and, you know, update you guys, you know, as to who would step in for Michael Ricketts should he go. That right now is currently unclear. We will continue to research and update you guys as to that particular issue. But guys, it's not looking pretty for JFF president Michael Ricketts. It is looking like his presidency is coming to the end. So guys, that's my two cents. We'll continue to update you guys on this story. Take care, stay safe, and until next time.